Last week, I posted a video on YouTube and on Badminton Central um, illustrating how to tie a knot which I claim to have um, no tension loss. But there seems to be some um, discussion on the, uh, on the knot itself. And uh, when I did a video, I didn't um, really talk about how to actually do it. I only showed a video. So this time I'm going to um, talk over how the knot is done and also um, explaining why I believe it is a good and effective knot to use. Uh, not only for tying the mains, it also works for um, finishing the cross at the very end. So um, this is what I have. Um, I have for the last main, uh, which has been clamped by a um, flying clamp. And this is a pretty heavy clamp, as you can see. It actually is so heavy that it drops after I release it. Um, it's more metal and it takes, uh, you know, it takes a fair amount of force to stand it up. And I just wanted to show that um, after I tie the knot, this clamp actually um, what effect the knot has on this clamp and um, and with that what effect it has on this loose piece of string segment which is the major concern we have when we tie a knot because we want this to be uh, to be reasonably tensioned okay so the way we do the knot is we take the loose end of the string we go basically under and over through the loop of the string and then the next thing we do is we take this loop and we do a half twist okay and after we put the half twist we feed the end of the string through that loop okay and the next thing is we let go of the loop and we take this piece and we just pull it over and pull it tight. Okay. And at this point, what we have is we've created another loop. One end of the loop goes into the loose string segment. The other end of the loop goes to the end of the string. Okay. We want to find the one that we is connected to a loose string segment and then we pull it with you know whatever you want to use. It's actually better to use a um a starting clamp to do this than using a pair of pliers, but I don't have a starting clamp, so we have to use a pair of pliers. So we pull it and pay attention to the flying clamp. As you can see, by pulling this not what happens is that this string segment in turn has been tensioned and therefore the little string segment that we have here whatever tension loss in there has been um, I won't say eliminated but it's much better than um, doing the regular double half hitch if you have to go like you know back and forth and pull and that that kind of Tie ties under the string, and the last thing we need to do is after we have this, um, the the interesting about the the pulling of this knot is that after we pull, as you can see, the flying clamp is still standing up because the knot itself actually maintains the tension on this string segment, and the last step we do is just to lock it up. And we do it by pulling the end of the string. And this is done. Um, this is a pretty quick procedure that can be, um, you know, it doesn't take any longer than doing a double half hitch. And so this is what I think is a pretty good knot to learn. Um, whether you want to use it to tie the end of the main or the end of the cross. Okay. Um, hopefully this will... Um, be less confusing to uh, people who watched my previous video without the audio in it. Um, so 
um, good luck with it.